Good morning guys, it is 10.30, it is the 6th of December. Now I was aiming to do Vlogmas this year, however, there isn't a lot going on right now, so they're not going to be exciting. So what I will do is, uh, if there's anything that is interesting and pops up, I'm going to post it as a Vlogmas. So basically anything that happens this month that's interesting, it's going to be a Vlogmas. Um, yesterday I did actually film some stuff, but then I wasn't too happy with it. It was rather boring, and so I decided not to share it. Um, the previous video to this one, I've actually deleted. We headed on out to a place called um, Lady Bower Reservoir uh, at the weekend. So we went there on Sunday, and uh, it was amazing. It was so, it really got me into sort of like, got us both into sort of like, Christmas or the festive season. Um, it was this one's birthday yesterday. Wasn't it Benji? He had a few too many treats and ended up vomiting last night, which isn't the best. Uh, so yeah, on Sunday we went to Lady Bower Reservoir. Uh, it looked amazing. Now what I'm going to do, I lost the footage from that day because of memory card issues um, from the GoPro. So uh, we got the footage on the drone. So what I'm going to do is loop that footage into this video. I did share it a few days ago. Yesterday, I did some research into just the post-production of video. Um, as a photographer, I, I feel like I have a certain aesthetic which isn't coming across on the YouTube channel here. Um, so I've managed to kind of work some bits out. So on this video, you're going to start seeing a new look to the channel. Um, also, we put the Christmas tree up actually a few weekends ago. It was in the conservatory and I've gone ahead and pushed it into the front room this morning so it looks like this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna switch it on later on. In fact, I'll just show you how it looks right now. There we go. I just, we just, I think, we've kind of grown up with Christmas tree in the front room. If it's not in the front room, it doesn't feel Christmassy. So, really happy with it. We've gone for the traditional sort of green one this year. Um, for the last few years, we've had, or I've had, um, a white one, uh, a false white one. So, got some, I'll show you some ornaments that we've got on it this year. Just trying to set one up. So, um, this one I picked up a few days ago. It's just like a little wooden slab type of thing. We picked up some the Primark baubles. We picked this up in Iceland uh, a couple of years ago. Whilst we were there, I fell in love with the two doves on there. It reminded me very much of Home Alone. Uh, we got this white stag or deer from Boston Christmas shop this year. That's another one of the Minnie Mouse baubles. Uh, my sister-in-law picked these up, I think, from Switzerland, maybe, uh, this year when she was there. We've got some of these that flicker on with the light. The black Minnie Mouse. It comes as a pack of four, six, I think it was. Um, we've also got some more around the other side. No, yeah, we've got a gingerbread as well from Munich, and also this one, which was from uh, Munich too. So. We what we've found is that anytime we travel, we're picking up sort of Christmas ornaments on the way. Uh, so yeah, it's looking a lot more like Christmas in the front room now. Um, but yeah, so today pretty much just got sorted and I'm gonna go ahead and crack on with some work. Um, I did want to share some sort of books with you. So obviously it's the sort of time of year if you do celebrate Christmas, a lot of people buy gifts, not everyone, but some people do. Um, the best gift I think is time obviously uh, but one of the things I was talking to uh, with someone a few days ago was uh, books for creatives or entrepreneurs or someone that's just kind of transitioning from one path in life I guess to another path um, and I found that these books have been really sort of insightful and uh, just great reads I think um, so I really wanted to show you guys there's one called The Big Leap which is this one here by Hendrix, um, really sort of simple content in it, easy to absorb, but it's one of those books where it makes you think like light bulb moments. So I highly recommend it. I'm gonna link these books down below over on Amazon. If you guys do, um, if you are on the lookout for books, uh, for bookworm, friends, family members, whatever. This one is Damn Good Advice by George Lois. Again, I really love this one as it's got, there's a lot of, pictures and text in it but again it's very much light bulb moments 
simple stuff. Um, it's not one of those ones that you work through like a workbook. You've also got Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. Now this one is brilliant for creatives. I think uh, for any creative that is trying to make money from being a creative, a lot of people struggle as they're not good with business. Uh, initially we're very good with creating and not the business aspect of it. So it's really quite a great one uh, to get into. Seth Godin. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is an amazing marketing guru. Uh, I love his website. I love the content he releases on email. Um, this book really, actually, anytime I think of anything to do with my freelance work or business, it comes to mind just the concept of it every time. So it's stuff that really sticks to you um, and that you can apply in everyday sort of marketing methods. Uh, whether that be for a YouTube channel, uh, for freelancers, you know, anything that you're trying to promote yourself, whatever, it's really, really great principles. There's a book called The Chimp Paradox, which is by Dr. Steve Peters. They've had some amazing sort of athletes that uh, have worked with Dr. Steve Peters, and it's really about mind management. Um, I can't say that I've got through it fully. It's quite a chunky book. Really great value for money. Um, it's life-changing stuff in my opinion that is it really really is uh, from what I've obviously studied from it so far and the principles that I have applied uh, now my journey with this type of stuff started a few years ago when I was kind of toying with the idea of self-employment uh, it hasn't been easy in all honesty because I don't come from a background with you know family members that have been in business uh, or anything like that so uh, I still have my struggles not going to lie but these books are amazing and there's so much information out there that can help you know people that are transitioning from one path to another let's say uh, but yeah so I'm going to crack on with some work for now um, and let's see what the day brings I don't have anything planned today I'm not gonna lie but let's see what happens guys I'm so happy I've managed to sort out my Google AdSense on um, my travel blog. So I actually, I've been trying to implement it for a little while. One of the reasons why I didn't do it initially when I first started blogging over on the travel blog <clears throat> is because it takes a little while for it to generate content, for the ads to generate based on the content you're sharing. So I feel like I've got enough sort of content there now to get it going. So I've just gone on the website. It's taken me a couple of weeks because I couldn't get the settings right. Just me being dim basically but um got it working didn't it's dead simple i was just missing one element of it i've got to add the website to the list in google adsense so but yeah here we go it's ready and it's working so what i'm doing now is just implementing it to the rest of the pages um i've just started for a break I made myself a tea ginger honey and lemon good vibes cool um Getting really bad jaw ache this week, and I'm not too sure why. I need to book in at the dentist, get registered. Um, yeah, it's really annoying. I'm just taking a painkiller. Had the delivery of some gifts, but I can't say what it is because no doubt Carfish will be watching. Um, I think we're getting pizza tonight. Basically, one of the network providers here in the UK, I'm gonna stop the music because I don't know if this is gonna affect my video will be not loaded. So my phone contract is with UK Operator 3 and they have an app which is the one two app, which is this one here. And you basically get promotions on a weekly basis. So this week, they tend to like fluctuate or rotate, should I say. Uh, but this week, there's a free coffee at Costa. I think it has been about three weeks since it last was on there. And there is a free seven inch pizza today at Domino's. So that is our date night for tonight because why not, right? Um, so yeah, it's nearly 1 p.m. Um, I do need to nip to the shops, but maybe I'll leave it till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to it now. Following in on, oh, fuck, can't speak. Following on from the other uh, books that I shared with you guys just before, this one is How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh. Now, for those of you guys who are on YouTube, you'll know that she is one of the sort of more popular YouTubers, but I love what she stands for and what she's doing. I think it's a great debut. 
uh, book from her. Um, and another book is Get Rich Lucky Bitch by Denise Duffield Thomas. Uh, I came across that this year as well as I've been following a couple of sort of um, business coaches and mental shit programs or whatever uh, on social media so um, it's one of the books that I came across on there so I definitely recommend them I am going to um, list them down below as I say feel free to check them out it is a Amazon affiliates link so um, if you do buy please go ahead and click on there so I can generate a little bit of money from it uh, but yeah so I'm gonna crack on with the day working on the wedding website working on my free the music photography stuff and yeah, basically a lot to do right now. So tomorrow I've got a shoot on with a band that I worked with for the first time earlier this year. Uh, they're a band called China Lane, which are based in Manchester. Um, and it was really great to work with them um, earlier this year, actually. And uh, so we're out on a press shoot tomorrow. Just had confirmation through for it. Now, hopefully things don't change because the weather has been a little bit hit and miss recently in Manchester. Um, I'm trying to load up the website here to show you who I'm going to be working with. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try and blog bits of it tomorrow, but this depends on how the day goes. Um, as I try not to, obviously you can't do two things at once. So, um, you guys should definitely check them out if you're on the lookout for some new music. I will link some information on the YouTube channel and whatnot down on this post. Uh, this post, blog, blog even, I can't speak. But basically it was uh, these guys, which I don't know if you can tell. If you guys follow me on social media, you probably will have seen the posters and tear sheets for it which actually I need to add to the website. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's about 1.30 p.m. and I'm kind of like itching to go get some fresh air. So I think I might go and take Benji out for a walk uh, to break up the day. My jaw's really sore, so I'm, set, I'm considering ringing the dentist up and see if I can get registered first thing tomorrow um yes i think that's the plan so i forgot you guys at home i left my camera at home and went out to the shops um yeah I ended up getting a coffee well not a coffee a hot chocolate from costa and uh i think i just got skanked out of like two pounds i had a voucher for two pound 35 but then they charged me with another two pounds so I was like, what the hell? £4.35 for a coffee, for a hot chocolate. That's just extortionate. I'm gonna quiz that next time if it happens. Cause that's just dumb. Um, got Benji's heat, got Benji, I can't speak. I got Benji heat bones. That is used on all time. Saw some cool Christmassy stuff, but didn't get anything. Been good now, I've, I've pretty much spent up for Christmas now, so maybe a couple of bits, but that's about it. And now, put the Christmas lights on. One of the things that I really, obviously I'm stating the obvious here, but I really cannot stand it being dark so early on. I remember when I was in Iceland last year and it was just crazy dark until like 11 a.m. or something. It's not that bad, but it's three o'clock here and it's just starting to get dark i'm just like uh, i've got some music recommends for you if you haven't heard of them already you should check it out obviously you will have heard of pink no doubt her new album is absolutely fantastic literally every track on it is just awesome jp cooper is another artist he's actually from manchester funnily enough and uh it's been awesome to see his progress over the last few years, actually quite a few years. And he released his debut album back in October, I want to say. And uh, it's wicked, literally every track on the album is fantastic. Um, definitely recommend it. Another couple of bands to check out. Band called Larkins band that I've worked with quite a few times, they're fantastic, they've just announced a tour for next year around the UK, um, I'm 
checking out my playlist actually i'm gonna click on my workout playlist um who else have i got on here that my ah the rest of them are sort of like oh yeah there's a band called dunwells which is pretty sweet they're from leeds which is about an hour away from here uh their new track is really, their new track and ep is amazing really awesome to sort of see the development in the writing phase of things i think they're the only ones that are kind of I've been listening to a lot this month um but again i'll list it down below um and yeah it's 23 25 past three i rang the dentists apparently they're not taking and taking on any new patients and i'm like yeah that's great very helpful um i'm not impressed by that so yeah, I've literally got pizza on the mind now. Um, I've been going gym religiously for the past few weeks. Start, I think I joined up around September when we came back from America. Um, September, was it October? Might have been October. Something like that anyway, so I'm actually keeping up to my schedule, which is good. Um, yeah, I've got pizza on my mind though, so I'm sort of like, I'm hungry. We've got a pizza voucher through, so waiting until Calbish gets back from work now. Then we'll probably grab that later on today. Um, contemplating what to do. Do I carry on working for a bit longer? Getting to that point where I can't be doing with sat in, sitting in front of the computer though. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be productive. My other thought process is do I go and bake something which I wanted to do last night. But my jaw is just really aching. And when it's aching I can't think of anything else but that. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I think I'll just carry on doing some work for a little while, see how far I get. So, dog face Benji has decided he wants attention, so that's me done for the day. It's around about 4 40 now, so I'm gonna start for the day on the computer and Mac doing admin type tasks. And I'm gonna head downstairs and make a hot drink, I think. My jaw still saw more my teeth, but the Christmas tree looks so cute. I'm so impressed with the Christmas tree now. Got my Christmas candle on too. You guys like candles? If so, if you've got recommendations for brands and smells, do let me know. This one's barking, being naughty. He loves his company, you see. He's not a fan of being left by himself too long, so just put the heating on. We've not got a gas fire in this place, which is a bit annoying. Maybe we'll get it done eventually. I'm not sure. So we've just got like a portable thing at the minute, which keeps it warm. We only moved into the house back in July. So it's all still relatively new for us. Um, but yeah, I've just changed the setting on the Christmas tree with these lights. So they kind of blink instead of being still. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for Carpish to come home. And then... I really want pizza, I'm so hungry. But he's gonna go for a run yet, and then we'll probably go get some food. So I might have to have a snack. I'm gonna make a hot drink. I'm fancying ginger and lemon, although I don't know if we've got any lemon left. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I, got, if I showed you guys, but we've got tropical fish. We've got a bunch of neon tetras in here. Um, and those guys are like rasboro something or other. I forget the name of them. Um, and we've also got these. We also have the clear tetras with blue eyes. And then we've got this guy here called Teddy. And he's a dwarf guarami or guarami, I don't know how you pronounce it. But he's really cute, he's cheeky. If you put your finger in, he tries to jump up and eat you, even though he's tiny. So I got this brown sack for the Christmas presents. And it's a special delivery 25th of December. Um, I figured that was going to be the best one for Carpesh. Because he's got a few. But yeah, I'm gonna go make a hot drink now. Because it's chilly. So I'm watching Reggie 80's Extreme on Netflix, which is a documentary. I think it's got about six episodes. Um, and this one is based on Russia Teen Model Factory. Really insightful. I've worked with sort of models um, which have been signed to modeling agencies previously, like local ones. But um, it's quite interesting the selection process on a large scale. You've got models starting at a very young age, about 12 or 13 in Russia, um, which isn't that young in comparison. I mean, obviously, you've got the child-child 
modelling. But then this is like the teen models, which a lot of the time get dressed up as adults, which is a bit of a weird one. Uh, quite insightful, interesting. The whole documentary is, um, the documentary series is pretty interesting. Some of it's based in South Africa, some of it's based in Russia. Um, but yeah, I've watched about two or three episodes so far. Definitely would recommend it if you guys are looking for something to watch on Netflix. And Benji's here. Aren't you keeping me company? Just giving you guys a little bit of a kiss. Aren't ya? <laughs> How'd you doing? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Ordering pizza, it's almost pizza time. I've been banging all right about pizza all day, Carl. No. Tomorrow? No. Olives? Yeah. We're gonna go get pizza. It's gonna be amazing. <coughs> We're getting two margaritas for free. And the third one's gonna be a mixed one. So basically, it's free pizza, personal size, which is a seven inch one. So we're getting three of those, and it's going to be amazing. Bye. Bye. I'm going to finish the vlog there. we got pizza. All three of them, and it's going to be amazing. We'll be back tomorrow.